welcome back friends as you already know only two days left for the dme examination now i was supposed to do the problem solving video but it is not possible for me to do the problem solving video but i have uh, the notes with me so that i can just tell you the procedure so that you can easily tackle these type of problems in the dme subject as only thing you have to need is to just use your data handbook over there so first uh, my dear guys you have to uh, attempt this module first as the uh, module sorry module fifth over there as it is an easier module as far as rest of the modules are concerned so let me tell you about the module fifth over there so uh, there is a numerical part and also one derivation is definite over there at the last i will tell you the derivation part first of all i will just try to tackle these uh, problems over there so problems will be like that suppose this is a 75 mm long full journal bearing of diameter 75 mm supports a load of 10 kilo newton the speed of the journal is uh, 1200 rpm the absolute viscosity of the oil is 10 into 10 power minus 3 pascal and diametral clearance ratio is 0 0.001 determine the coefficient of friction by using petroff's equation mickey's equation and raymondi and boyut guru so you have to just write the given data first <clears throat> suppose 75 mm length is given so l is equal to 75 mm and then n is equal to speed is given that is uh, 1200 rpm and w is given that is load 10 kN. so w is equal to 10 kN. z is equal to that is viscosity it is also given 10 into 10 power minus 3 pascal so and diameter clearance ratio is 0 0.001 that is c by r is given that is 0 0.001 and you have to just convert this speed into uh, seconds just n is equal to this uh, n upon 60 it will come up in uh, rps that is uh, speed is in seconds okay revolution per second then also from the then you have to use your data handbook uh, suppose p is equal to w upon 2 rl it is given in the data handbook this is the 15.6 c equation then p is equal to 10 into 10 power 3 it is the load upon 2 into r radius is uh, what we call 37.5 as diameter is given 75 mm and its half will be 37.5 into 75 is length so you will get p over here then using petrop's equation a coefficient of friction is given 2 pi square into 10 power minus 6 into zn upon p into r upon c so these all various values are given over there you have to just use this petrop's equation which will be in 15.4 a in the data handbook page number 353 okay it depends upon the data handbook uh, which you have over there so uh, coefficient of friction will be 2.23 into 10 power minus 3 and then you have to use this second uh, mickey's equation mickey's equation is also given in data handbook that is 15.4 b so f is equal to ka upon uh, into zn by p into r upon c into 10 power minus 10 plus delta f these delta f and ka value will be given in the data handbook it is 0 0.195 into 10 power 6 0 0.002 that is delta f then you have to just use this uh, what we call the mickey equation over there okay so just put your values then you will get the quotient of friction okay then by using Raymondi and Boyd Kuru in that you have to calculate the Summerfield number that is a Summerfield bearing characteristic number it is given by s is equal to r by c whole square into z n upon p into 10 power minus 6 you will get uh, the uh, Summerfield number over there then for determining the quotient of friction then for uh, determine the quotient of friction based on no side leakage for beta is equal to 360 degree so there is the graph in the uh, this particular problem so let me show you first so once you get this summer field number that is 6.77 i am getting over here so then for this rc rc upon f value okay rc upon f value you will get in this figure this is rc upon f so uh, summer field number the value of uh, summer field number is 6.77 so it is uh, over here 6.77 then you have to project it over here with the line beta is equal to 360 degree then you will get approximately 1.9 so is this is i have written over here r by c upon f is equal to 1.9 then you can calculate the coefficient of friction f is equal to 1.9 into this r by c is given just you will get f is equal to 2 into 10 power 3 so this is the problem on lubrication of this bearing over there it is a very simple problem only three steps are there you have to use this uh, petrop's equation petrop's equation and mickey equation and this uh, summer field calculation over there only this much is the problem okay so only this much is the problem.
now the another topic that is the petrops equation so derivation will be there it is the definite question most probability high probability in this particular module will be there that is the 10 marks question over there so uh, you don't uh, need to memorize this equation as it is given in the data handbook so all the uh, what we call the content is given in the data handbook over there so suppose this is a consider a vertical shaft rotating in a guide bearing it assumes that the bearing uh, carries a very small load like that you have to uh, remember this only six points over there rest of the things are uh, you know uh, notations over there it is also in the data handbook then after equations for this petrops equation so shear stress you have to calculate it is also given in data handbook 15.3a then after uh, you will get this type of interface tau is equal to f upon a f is equal to tau into a then f is equal to tau times area is given pi dl that is 2 pi rl so tau into 2 pi rl so f is equal to this value uh, then uh, it is also given in the 15.3 equation in the data handbook okay then torque is equal to force into radius you are also getting force over here you have to just put it here so 4 pi square r cube l z n into 10 power minus 6 upon c so this is also given in data handbook uh, c equation 15.3 c so you just uh, make it one equation over here then also frictional torque uh, that is uh, tf is equal to f w into r which is equal to f into w is equal to 2 p r l it is also in data hand data handbook p is equal to w upon 2 r l so then it will become 2 r square f into l p so make it second equation then by equating these two equations torque equations you will get this term is equal to this term okay so 4 pi square r l r r cube l z n into 10 power minus 6 upon c which is equal to this term that is f p uh, 2r square into l then cancel the terms you will accordingly get f is equal to 2 pi square r z n into 10 power minus 6 p into c so this is the 15.4 a equation in the data handbook also it is given over there so this is the derivation of petrops equation it is also a simple equation just to go through no need to memorize no need to buy it, it. only thing you need to use your data handbook then rest of the things depends upon you upon your practice okay friends so this is easy question from this module just prepare it thank you welcome back friends this is the another module that is the clutches problems on clutches there will be three types of problems in the vtu examination so one type will be single plate clutches and another will be multi plate clutches and cone clutches will be there you have to go through these type of problems and another part is the brakes over there so you just go for clutches uh, practice well then only you can make 20 marks possible in this particular model with the derivation is over there on the base of torque so you have to calculate you have to derive the torque equation over there so i am just here to focus on the problem part problem solving part i have the notes with me so first of all i will try to solve this uh, single plate clutches over there so design a single plate clutch of two pairs of contacting surfaces for a torque capacity of 200 newton meter due to space limitation the outer dia of clutch is to be 250 mm first of all you just write the given data so first of all this uh, d naught is given that is 250 mm outer dia of the clutch is given 250 mm then t is also given that is 200 nm this is the torque capacity 200 newton meter which will be equal to 200 into 10 power 3 newton in terms of millimeter okay then n dash is equal to 2 n dash is equal to 2 so so my dear friends n dash is equal to 2 it will indicate over here that is two pairs of contacting surfaces so i have taken n dash is equal to 2 over here okay then as it is the problem is design a single plate so first of all we have to choose some material over there so in the table 13.4 page number 283 in the data handbook written by the k mahadevan so i am here with the data handbook so just I refer here the leather material i have preferred over here the leather material and then you have to calculate these uh, not no need to calculate it is also given in this uh, particular table over here so i am taking the uh, dry condition over here that is 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 you have to choose this uh, friction uh, coefficient to friction okay so that is mu is equal to 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 that is 0 0.4 then p max p max is also in this particular equation that is 0 0.07 into uh, to 0 0.29 it is the maximum pressure uh, in terms of mega newton per meter square okay so i have taken it here 0 0.07 minus 0 0.29 to 0 0.29 then p max is equal to 0 0.18 i have taken in between these values so then after you have to write this torque equation it is in the uh, data handbook data handbook it is given
so torque equation it is given in the data handbook that is 13.9 f page number 259 t is equal to pi upon 8 mu times n dash p max di into d naught square minus di square you have to just calculate this di value just because d naught is given over there so you have to calculate this di value now just by solving putting these values it is all also given t is given and mu uh, mu we have uh, what we call is taken from this table 13.4 over there then just try to put these values in this particular equation you will get the di value that i am getting here 60.05 i am taking it as 61 approximately mm then you have to uh, calculate the force force is equal to 1 upon 2 pi p max di into d naught minus di it is also given in the data handbook that is 13.9 d so just to put the values of this uh, p, uh, p p max di d naught then you will get the answer like so i am getting it over here for a uh, force axial force is equal to 3259.74 that is 3260 newton over here so this is your first problem on the single plate clutches okay then another problem will be on multi-plate clutches okay friends so interface will be like that a multi-plate clutches has three discs of the driving shaft and two on the driven shaft the inside dia of the contact surface is 120 mm maximum pressure is limited at 0 0.1 mega pascal calculate outer dia of the contact surface for the transmitting 25 kilowatt at uh, 1575 rpm take mu is equal to 0 0.3 all the data is given my dear friends you have to just calculate the outer diameter over here so p is given di is given n is given p max is given mu like that so you have to calculate d naught and also in this problem three discs of dri uh, driving shaft we denote it by i1 which is equal to three and two on the driven shafts okay so it is also given i2 is equal to two so uh, you know already torque equation that is 9.55 into 10 power 6 p upon n it is also in the dme first as far as dme first is concerned so t is equal to just put the values of p and n over here you will get the torque okay then follow the same procedure as that of single plate clutches like uh, t is equal to pi upon 8 mu and dash p into di into d naught square minus di 13.9 f uh, it is the equation in the data handbook just to try to put these values over here but uh, here the concern is n dash how to calculate this n dash as it is not mentioned in the question uh, the peers, peers are not given or uh, indirectly they have given the discs over there so i is equal to i1 plus i2 uh, it is the equation so you will get i value is 5 then n dash is equal to i minus 1 so i is 5 minus 1 that is n dash you will get 4 over here then put it in the torque equation you will accordingly get uh, a d, uh, d naught over here in terms of square then try to solve it in the Kelsey calculator you will get the d naught value as 203 so this is your problem on multiplate clutches just focus on um, two or um, three three or four problems over there so that you will get uh, practiced well in this particular uh, what we call is the multiplate clutch over there so this was the multiplate clutch problem so in the model first friends uh, spring problems are easy okay you have to go through spring problems and uh, the procedure is very simple over there uh, the thing which you need is to do practice well in these two days as two days are left now no no much more time over there so this is the problem on helical spring i will take upon first so the helical springs are of wire diameter 6 mm and spring index is 6 is acted by an initial load of 800 newton after compressing it further by 10 mm the stress in wire is 500 mega pascal find number of active coils g is equal to 84 giga pascal so my dear friends just write the given data so d is equal to 6 mm it is given the wire diameter and c is equal to 6 that is the spring index were there then c is equal to d upon d you have to uh, remember this equation c is equal to d upon d so d will be equal to uh, this d is uh, sorry this c is given so you will get d is equal to 6 d so d is equal to 6 into 6 as is uh, as this small d is also given 6 mm so you will get uh, the bigger dia d is equal to 36 mm so also the force is given initial load is given 800 a newton so i am writing it here as fb is equal to 800 newton and also uh, it is compressing after compressing it further by 10 mm so deflection is y is equal to 10 mm then tau is also given that is 500 mega pascal 
uh, sorry this uh, citrus is also given over here that is tau uh, so g is also given 84 into uh, 84 gigapascal that will be equal to 84 into 10 power 3 newton per millimeter square so in the data handbook you just use first this equation that is k is equal to 4c minus 1 uh, divided by 4c minus 4 plus 0 0.615 uh, divided by c which will be uh, given in the data data handbook that is 11.2 a equation okay then just to put this uh, c value in this particular equation you will get the value of k then force acting on the spring after compression so it will be given in the data handbook again that is 11.1 d page number 169 so tau is equal to 8 f d k upon pi d cube f is equal to uh, you have to just cross multiply this that is tau into pi d cube upon 8 uh, d k okay so f is equal to by putting these values you will get 940.6 newton over here then after you have to calculate the net force the net force acting on the spring during compression will be equal to f is equal to fa minus fb fa you will you are getting it over here f 940.6 and also uh, fb is equal to 800 newton is given so the total net force will be equal to f is equal to 940.6 minus 800 f is equal to 140.6 newton over here then you have to calculate the number of active coils as men mentioned in the question over there so the, the number of active coils present in spring is stiffness uh, is equal to k is given by f naught or it will be equal to f by y f is you know already you have calculated in the above step that is 140.6 upon y is also given the 10 mm so you will get uh, this stiffness k is equal to 14.06 okay then uh, as you have to calculate the number of active coils so for that purpose you have to calculate first this k value then after you can get the number of active coils in this particular equation it is also given in the data handbook so k is equal to d raised power 4 g upon 8 i d cube then you will get the value of i i is equal to this by putting the values of d g and uh, d cube and k value is also known here so you will get the number of coils i is equal to 20.83 i is approximately equal to i am taking it over here here as 21 turns or coils you can take okay so this is the spring problem same procedure is for the another problems little bit variation will be there depending upon the problems the depending upon the length of the problems were there so this is the spring problem i hope you will get it you are uh, what we call is understanding these concepts over there just uh, you need to use your data handbook okay friends so, so first of all friends i will tell you that you have to go through these three modules as these are very easy just your dedication matters in this particular matter over here only uh, need to practice the more and more and more problems on these particular topics which i have mentioned so that you will easily pass this particular subject but not only uh, attempting these three modules i am I am not assuring you, I am not giving you the guarantee to pass this particular subject with only these three modules. You have to go through another module is there, super gears and helical gears. That is also a simple one but, length, uh, but lengthy one. Okay. So go through that problems also my dear friends. So it is not possible for me to make the videos on the all particular notes over here. So I hope this much is enough to make you people uh, pass in this particular subject to make you people to conquer this particular subject as it is considered as one of the toughest subject in mechanical engineering most of the students are having a concern in this particular subject so okay friends uh, just practice do well i hope you will just conquer the subjects in one attempt over there thank you